Graphing and analyzing functions using the TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS apps on the iPad is easy and awesome. Here in the home screen, let's start a new TI Inspire document by tapping the plus icon in the upper left corner and adding graphs. The graphs workspace opens with the TI Inspire keyboard at the bottom. I'll enter the function f1 of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 4 by first tapping the x variable key on the bottom of the keyboard, followed by the x squared key. Then I'll type plus 6x minus 4. When the expression has been entered, tap the black enter key to graph your function. As you can see, my function's vertex is below the viewable area. I can resize and reposition the graph by using the same gestures you use to move and zoom on photos and web pages on the iPad. To move the graph, touch and hold one finger on the graph and then drag your finger. To zoom in, place two fingers on the graph and spread them apart. To zoom out, keep those two fingers on the graph and pinch them together. In addition to these common gestures, you can use one finger and then touch and hold on the axes of the graph, and then drag to rescale. Let's enter another function by tapping the plus sign in the upper right corner just above the graph. Don't get confused and touch the plus sign on the left side next to the home button. That will add a new page to your document. You want the white plus inside the light blue bar. Now let's graph f2 of x equals x plus 2 by pressing that x variable key and then plus 2, followed by enter. Let's enter a split screen to display a table of data points for each function. Press the wrench icon on the left side just above the graph to open the tools menu and then select table, split screen table. Now I can see my graph on the left and a table of values on the right. Each column in the table shows one of my two functions, so I can see that when x equals 2, f1 of x is 12 and f2 of x is 4. You can dynamically change the functions by manipulating the graphs. I'll touch and hold f2 of x in the graph on the left until it starts flashing or turns bold, indicating that it's selected. To rotate the graph, I'll touch and hold an edge of the graph and move my finger up and down to rotate. Notice the values in the table change as I change the function. To translate the function, touch where the function intercepts the y-axis and then drag it. To deselect the graph, tap an empty area of the graph and the function will stop flashing. Now I can continue working with my graph and table.